Okay, okay folks, uh, welcome uh, again here at Blue Nova at the test facility. A very, very exciting day for us. Today we are announcing our first Bluetooth monitored uh, mobile battery. It's part of the mobile power series here at Blue Nova, which you are familiar with. And now for the first time, we are capable of monitoring the Bluetooth battery, uh, the battery with our Bluetooth ap application. So, to start, um, let's just look at some basic uh, um, information on the screen. We see the state of charge of the battery, we see the voltage of the battery here at 13.2, uh, and we see the capacity of 104 amp hour uh, for this battery as it's uh, set up there. Then if we go to the next screen, we can see the voltage indicated. So you can see if you're overcharging the battery maybe to 14, 15 volts, you'll see that on the screen. And you can also see the current that is drawn by either discharging or charging the battery. Furthermore, if you delve deeper into the screen, you'll see that you can dial into a special subscreen, which if you type in the password, you now have the ability to see the detailed voltages of each of the four cells that are inside the battery. And all of the eight other alarm and fault conditions, if something is wrong with the battery, is displayed on the screen. And yeah, and finally you can get some more information on where to purchase the battery. But basically, a standard monitoring system that allows you to monitor power, voltage and current. So just going back to that current screen, here we see, we have a classic small home or outdoor application uh, set up here, starting with number one, a solar panel on the right hand side. This little 1.5 kVA inverter from Mesa, a very useful little inverter, it can take 500 watts of solar input, which means that it can produce, together with a solar panel, around about 3 kilowatt hours of energy per day. The battery, if it's fully empty, well, fully empty, if it's completely empty, can store up to 1.3 kilowatt hours, and the rest of the, the, the remaining 1.7 kilowatt hours can then be used uh, to, uh, to power the day loads. Typical day loads, and I want you to have a look at the current. We see uh, the standby current of the inverters around about two amps. And I'm going to struggle again with, uh, with this one. Okay, so if I fire up like a little coffee grinder, like that, this is about a 200 watt coffee grinder. Let's see, um, let me just do that for the sake of looking at the current. We have a little 750 watt toaster, which I can turn on. It draws roughly about another 60 odd amps out of the battery while this is running. We can also run the grinder, which is a few amps together with the inverter, together with the toaster. And all along, the ice maker is running at a continuous draw of around about 8 amps. That's around about 100 watts in its normal operation. But it's during startup, this little baby can draw as much as 100 amps from the battery, which gives us a surge of about 1.2 kilowatts. And this inverter can deliver 150% uh, overload, so it can deliver close to about 1.8, almost 2 kilowatts during startup conditions. So yes, folks, I think in summary, very, very excited to announce, oh, there she jumps out. Very excited to see that we've got a Bluetooth monitored battery available. Uh, we also have a, a battery slightly cheaper than this one, which hasn't got Bluetooth for people who do not have the requirement for local monitoring. But yes, for the outdoor enthusiast and small home owner who wants to see the state of charge and the power being delivered by the battery, we now have the Bluetooth application. Power-wise, it's still the Blue Nova muscle type uh, applications we can still do 1.2 kilowatt continuous and up to 2 kilowatt peak which is uh, something that the Blue Nova products have been uh, known uh, or accustomed to deliver to our clients so thank you very much and uh, looking forward to give you an update shortly cheers